Bart Bieböck, uh, congratulations to your new job as a executive director of the Joint Undertaking on Fuel Cells and Hydrogen. Why were you motivated to apply for this, well, exciting job? Well, first of all, thank you very much for the congratulations. Well, I was really motivated for this job because during years I have been developing this uh, technology in, in, uh, in the research and development centers. And now with this new function, I will really be able to implement this technology into the field and really play a very important role in the European society towards a cleaner and a better environment. What is your vision for your job within the joint undertaking? Well, my vision your goal is really to make sure that uh, people experience the hydrogen and fuel cells technology. They really have to understand what is this technology, uh, what does it bring to them, and why also Europe and the industry is really in, uh, investing in this technology. And I think it's very important for the joint undertaking to bring that message to the people. If I would ask you for three priorities that you would focus on uh, the next time, what would you say? Well, the first priority would be uh, to focus on the calls. I strongly believe that the calls have to focus on the real deployment of this hydrogen and fuel cells technology. Also, within those calls, we have to focus more on SMEs. They have to be also in those calls and also they will create also a lot of jobs finally. So that would be uh, the first priority. The second priority is to focus on communication and public relation. Uh, I said already we need to bring out the story, people have to understand. I think it's our role to make sure that this communication towards the people in the street is done well, but also to have good communication with the industry. We need to, I mean, I'm sure that today already there is a very good communication, we have to continue those communications, but also we have to make sure that we have going the same direction, it's very important to that. And the third priority was also is to look into the financial schemes. So how will we make a business model out of the hydrogen and fuel cells business? And we will also investigate and try to find a good economical measures. I can see that you're wearing the logo of Hydrogen Europe already. So I hope, what's your expectations? I hope on a good cooperation. What's your expectation on the industry? Well, to, to speak uh, with the same uh, language, that we go to the same direction and that uh, we finally succeed uh, with this uh, hydrogen and fuel cell technology into the European market. Bart, I'm looking forward to a very good cooperation and I'm happy to have you as a partner. Thank you. Me too. Looking forward. Thank you.